are new developments involving the woman arrested for aiming a weapon at two police officers near the rock and roll near the uh, rock and roll marathon. Just hours ago, Mona Williams appeared before a judge and our 10 news anchor Jim Patton shows us she could spend the rest of her life in prison if convicted. According to the prosecutor, it was right here at the entrance to the Civic Center parking garage that an officer first approached Mona Williams after another driver had pointed her out as being involved in a hit and run. He saw the driver with what appeared to be at the time to be a firearm across uh, or left a chest area pointed in the direction of the officer. Deputy District Attorney Michael Runyon describing the initial moment when an officer tried to approach 58 year old Mona Williams after she allegedly was involved in a nearby hit and run. He says the officer yelled gun several times and called for people in a car ahead of her to get down. Runyon says Williams then drove to the top of the parkade where she pointed a gun at another officer who was on the ground and armed with an M16. Believing his life was in danger, he fired two shots at her that missed. Those two encounters now the basis for two felony counts being faced by Williams of resisting a police officer using threat of violence. And while her weapon turned out to be an airsoft gun, it's still considered a dangerous weapon, which makes both charges strike offenses. Along with the misdemeanor count of hit and run, Williams could be facing more than 65 years behind bars. Reporting downtown, Jim Patton, 10 News.